what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. The ESRB rating for this game is M for Mature 17+. Plus. This content is not made for children. In the description below the information for this video, you will find a link to the ESRB rating for this game. For information about this rating, please click on that link. Thank you. Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer, and thank you for giving me your time, and thank you for watching another one of my videos. I really do appreciate it. Here we go with another Operator Mission SID, I guess that's how you pronounce that. Uh, she gets unlocked at level 50 of the battle pass now there's four stages as in just like all the other operators but this one stage here is a little misleading and we'll get to that later in the video so make sure you watch the whole video to find out what I'm talking about uh, I will show you each and every stage on how to complete her from objective one through objective four you can see the first one here is you get 10 kills with a sniper rifle or a marksman rifle and don't forget you do have to have her equipped or these kills will not count we on to stage two objective two you get three kills without dying three times that'll happen while you play this next stage is a stage that is a little tricky a little misleading get five kills when the enemy is near smoke with again her equipped this is not true folks and I'm gonna show you it's not true it's actually when you are near smoke and I'll show you what you're supposed to do or what they say you're supposed to do then what you have to actually do in order to finish the objective 3 let's go ahead and move on to objective 4 get 15 kills while using the cold blood perk make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell because I'm going to be releasing another video talking about we have two more sets of missions that are broken you cannot finish them and that is cornerstone and engineer and I will show you 100% proof that these missions are broken so again make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell so you'll know when that video goes live but back to here we're gonna start off by getting 10 kills with the sniper rifle or a marksman rifle and I use the sniper rifle to finish this objective once you unlock her, um, make sure you go and select her. I've said that a few times because it's very important. If you don't have this character selected and you do these challenges, they will not count. I'll be showing you the finishing moves also for her. Uh, finishing moves is actually pretty cool, and I'm actually going to slow it down for you. So again, make sure you stay tuned for the whole video to find out that. There's a picture of what the finishing move looks like. Okay, now we're on crash, and I, I barely missed that person. I slowed that down when I took and did the recording, and yeah, I barely missed them. I'm gonna catch this guy right inside the window here, right there. Pop him right through the window. And also here, if you come across the Veto Jet, I think is what it's called, um, put some rounds into it first because the rockets that you have are not enough. So you're going to have to kill yourself and get another set of rockets. But put a bunch of rounds into it first. That way with two rocket rounds, you'll have no problem taking this jet out and getting your points for the rocket launcher. I'm going to catch this guy peeking here. He's also going to have a scope on. And the scope, bright light lets you know somebody's scoping right there. That gives him away and I take them out. Here's another nice shot. Catch this guy up here in the window that doesn't see me. His gun falls out of the window. A nice spot. You want to lay up next to the building so you can watch over B. Because for whatever reason, a lot of people don't look on the ground. They just run around. The runners that do run. People that camp, you know, 
it is what it is. But at the same time, keep in mind, you know, I'm using a sniper rifle here, so it's, you know, it really can't be running around with a sniper rifle. Get on top of this dumpster here. It's a nice line of sight because you got A up there because people come down the street, just like right there, and pop them. Moving on to the next map. We got seven sniper rifle kills. I need three more. Catch this guy peeking over the wall. It took a little bit getting used to this thermal sight, but once you do, it's really nice. This person's gonna be running right at me. Take him out, take his thigh out. Need one more and we will finish off stage one. This guy running right here. Okay, that guy went upstairs and didn't catch him. But there was one that came right behind him. And he actually kneeled down for me, which worked out perfectly. So here we go, there's stage one done. So now we have to get the three kills without dying three times. And I actually end up getting all these at one time. Let's see right here. Shot my teammate there, said I was needed at sea, but I didn't see the person. So I think what they was doing is they was hitting C and coming off of it, trying to get people to come down there to kill him. So there's one. Make my way back upstairs, get on top of the little rooftop area check the window before I do that way I don't get shot coming up here and actually you saw there was nobody there a second ago and there was now I'll go ahead and pop them and I'm working on the no attachments for this weapon for the scar I almost get taken out there so I come back over here I'm also keeping an eye on C while I'm here. I see my teammate right here, then I see my teammate get shot, so I know there's somebody coming. And sure enough, there they are. Take them out, so that gives me my first set of three. Now, you do not need to die and respawn. These will keep counting. So you can get nine kills in a row, and you will be good to go. I end up getting six here. I get five to unlock the cruise missile, then I get one with the cruise missile, which was all I needed. Miss that guy. I'm waiting for him to come through the doorway and he doesn't, so I know he's he's backing up, he's looking for me. So I'm gonna look around the corner and sure enough there he is. And I'm gonna take him out. There is my fifth kill for the cruise missile. Again, I need to get one kill at the cruise missile to get two of the three. And this person looked like they literally just spawned. I took them out. And this person here, at least he was smart. I get killed so many times like that, and people do not take advantage of the headshot. I don't understand why not. For one, it's more points. For two, you need it for a challenge. Or for your camo, rather. Let's go ahead and back out here. You can see we got two to three ready. Or two to three done, it is. So we need one more set of three. Okay, so now we have the first stage done, objective one done. We're going to go ahead and we're going to move on and attach the calling card that you get when you unlock that. So here's our calling card. So you can see I'm running Alice's calling card. I like to run her calling card because she's flipping off, giving you the bird. But we're going to attach Sid's calling card. That way um, we can be running that while we are working on her missions, slash objectives, challenges, whatever you want to call them. So we will go ahead and attach that. Now that is equipped. So we can go ahead and move on with the rest of our challenges. The next thing we're going to unlock is an outfit that we will get. You get two outfits for each one of these characters or operators as they want to call them. You can see she has a red bandana on the one we're going to unlock next. And then when you finish all four of the objectives, she has the blue bandana, the blue outfit on. So again, we're, we will be unlocking the red one once we get one more kill. 
Then our next challenge after that is getting the kills near smoke. And that is what I'm going to show you how this challenge here is totally worded, worded wrong. And some people might actually think this challenge is broken when it's not. And I'll show you how to fix that. We're going to start right here. I'm going to go back upstairs where I like to go on this map. When I'm on this side of the map. Because you got this wall here to my left that I can use for cover. And I'm going to get three kills here really quick. See nobody coming, so I go back, look over here, look over my teammate's shoulder. Next I know, here's a guy right here. So I take them out. Look again, here's somebody else. Now he had to see me shoot his teammate while he was looking to the right. When he could clearly see those bullets was coming from the left, I have no clue. There's a cruise missile. Thanks, you see, we have to take and change weapons here. So I'm going to go to the four attachments. The reason why I'm using four attachments, not five attachments, I'm setting everything up for a big game of the year. It's going to be really interesting to see how much XP I get. I earn between 100,000 and 600,000 XP is what I earned um, in Black Ops 4 uh, for one match. And you can find a playlist to that on the channel. Multiple games um, scoring over 100,000 XP per game. So now you see we have to get the kills near smoke. Now, when it says get a kill with the enemy near smoke, you would think you could take and throw your smoke grenade on them and they're near smoke. They're actually in the smoke. And that's the reason why I switched weapons because I have the thermal on this. So you can see it makes it really easy to see through the smoke. That guy there, he is in the smoke. You can see the smoke around him. Just cover my team's back while he while they're capturing it, and you can see it did not count. So some people might see that and might think that that is broken, when actually it is not, folks. I'll show you some more examples, but in fact, what you need to do is you need to be inside the smoke, use a thermal weapon, and shoot out of the smoke. You're gonna see that's what I do here. And that's how I'm able to finish this off. It takes me a little while to figure that out because I'm going by what they say. And again, they have this challenge worded wrong. And why? Sorry, I missed that. Could you say it again, please? Nobody's talking. You shut the hell up. Man, thank you. The damn phone just started talking on its own. I'm recording a video. But anyway, you can see it clearly says that the enemy has to be near smoke, and that's not the case. Here is another situation. I actually get the kill cam of the game for this video, or for this clip. See a person laying down? They are clearly inside the smoke. You can't be nowhere near the smoke than being inside the smoke. And it still did not count. So again, you know, it just... Here's the kill cam. You can see the person. He's actually laying inside the smoke, and it did not give me credit. So let's go check the objective. And for a fact, no, I did not get credit. I still need to get five kills with the enemy near smoke. Here's another one. You can see a person is on A, capturing A, and I killed him, and it did not count. So I've shown you three different examples, three different ways. Two people being on the objective, one not. Now I'm going to go over here. See, I'm using the thermal to find this person. And I'm going to back out. See, I'm standing inside the smoke right now. And notice I got my point. I got one of the five. So you need to be standing inside the smoke in order to do this objective. And this is just more proof it shows they do not test this stuff. They just create it and push it out and, and don't even give a damn. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell because I'm going to upload a video where Quarterstone and Engineer is both broken. You cannot finish those 
because of a broken mission in each one of those that deals with the same item. Again, it makes absolutely no sense and that's part of the season one drop which means even after they had all the problems with the missions not registering everything in the start of the game and they fixed that so here's another guy see I'm gonna shoot him and see he did not count it's still one of five just another example but after all the problems they had you think okay we're not adding that many missions to the inventory let's make sure these work and they don't which is just laziness on their part so again I'm gonna throw the smoke I won't be inside the smoke I'm gonna shoot that person there actually I think it's the same person I got earlier and you can see now I have 205 so again I've shown you multiple examples of what not to do and this is two examples of what you need to do see they're catching capturing bees so I go up in the smoke I don't see them so I'm gonna throw a termite and that counts as well so now we have three of five doesn't have to be with your weapon if you can throw a grenade or something as long as you're standing inside that smoke that is all you need not them being near the smoke you have to be inside the smoke and you can see right there as confirmation we have three of five of this done and since we have the three to five done, let's go ahead and put on her new outfit. You can see the red shirt, red bandana. I guess that could actually kind of be an orange too, depending on your screen. Could could kind of be an orange and not red. It's probably more orange than it is red. Here I'm gonna catch this guy laying down here. So I'm going to lay down here. Again, I'm going to throw smoke where I am located at. I'm going to catch a guy running to me. Just take him out and my teammate. Sorry, teammate. But you can see now we have four of the five. Now we're over here. Now check this out. This is strange, folks. It didn't show me getting a kill there, but it gave me credit for it. Let's look at that again. Oh, here, watch this in slow motion. You see, I see the claymore. I'm going to shoot the claymore because if I go through the door, the claymore is going to kill me. You see me not getting no kill, not even a teammate of mine getting a kill. So there's not even an assist there. But all of a sudden, this is Operator Mission. Sid finished for the getting five kills uh, when an enemy is near smoke. But you didn't see a kill come up on the screen. I mean, all the problems in the game, thank you. What else can I say? But clearly, I did not get a kill there, but it 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 registered as a kill. I don't know if the kill count went on my scoreboard, because really in shipment, you don't have a whole hell of a lot of time to look at anything in shipment. But as a confirmation, you can see right there, we're in stage four now. We have to get kills while using cold-blooded. So again, I'm going to check my loadout, make sure I'm using a loadout that has cold-blooded on it. And we are just going to start getting a bunch of kills. I mean, this, this, this map is just so insane. And I actually saw somebody get a nuke on this map. It's like, how in the world? And... Uh, I don't even know where that person was. He had it on the outside of that forklift and he, and he was head glitching. Because you couldn't see him. So I'll lay down here and look across the corridor because if you stand up you're going to get shot. So I'll take these people out as I catch them running past me. This is just insane. Like I said, I'll, let, I'll let this play out. I was trying to pull a finish to move on that person and couldn't do it. They turned at, the, at just the right time and I took and um, hit him with the butt of the gun. Enemy 
And these 15 kills happen so fast. Try to get away from that grenade, just could not do it. Again, work on this rocket launcher. So that was seriously delayed. See how delayed that was? I was dead for a second or two, maybe three. And it still showed that turret there. Then all of a sudden it said scrapped. And this is something else that gets on my nerves as well. You go to use your grenade launcher. Before, when you use your grenade launcher, it would automatically switch over. And take a look at there, folks. Look what I ran into. I make the turn around this thing, and look, I got one, two, three, it looks like four of the other teammates there from the other team, all in that one location. Again, the grenade launcher does uh, bust that person. And did it not? Hold on a second. Look at this in slow motion. I clearly hit this dude with the grenade launcher in the chest. You see no blood or anything from him being shot. And listen, you can even hear him make the sound for me hitting him. And it didn't give me the kill. Didn't give me the kill. Didn't give me the assist or anything. Wow. That's like, I think it was 8 Thoughts. 8 Thoughts of 402 Thunder, one of those two guys, showed where a uh, cruise missile, and there we go, there's my 15 kills to finish that off. A cruise missile landed right on top of this person's head. Didn't kill him, didn't get a hit marker or anything. Well, there you go, folks. That's done. Switch over to the missions board and you can see 4 of 4 is completed now. So let's go ahead and take a look at our blue outfit. Switch down to blue jacket is what this one's called. She has a blue shirt on and a blue um, bandana. And the other one is called Sahara I think is what that was. God check your six. Which actually kind of makes sense God if it being more six. of an orange color. God check your six. And that's the little voice recording you get. Now here is the foul play finishing move. And I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. Catch this person in the trailer. He's waiting for somebody to come to A. Now let's slow that down. It looks a lot better when it's slowed down. At first I thought she kicked him in the butt, but she doesn't. She kicks him in the back. But a knife to the armpit, and it comes around, and then a slice. Slicing and dicing. So again, that is her finishing move. And that is another operator down. There was a couple of these operators that really the challenges was really simple to do. There was no issues with them, like in this one here with the smoke. Um, so really I didn't put a video up about those. If you want um, challenges, uh, videos for these challenges that I don't have on the channel, let me know. If I still have it recorded, which I usually do record it, uh, just decide afterwards if I'm going to use the video or not. Let me know and I will put it up. So our next operator we're going to be doing is D-Day. He is unlocked at level 60. She was unlocked at level 50. He is unlocked at level 60. He is the next one that will be going up. Um, probably the same day as this one or the day after I've already got him recorded. That's the reason why I got the little clip there. And here's his little um, clip. And this is D-Day Demon Dogs. He is the next one we will be working on. So again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notifications bell. That way you know when this video goes up as well as the video that I will be uploading. Um, it might even be before I release this one here talking about how broken two of the challenges are. Uh, Quarterstone and Engineer. And 
basically how lazy it is. I'm still late getting another video out. I'm going to be putting another video out on top of that talking about how Activision is nothing but a liar and they're actually in the running um, over Bethesda on how much they lied to their fans. But hey, don't forget, they did tell the truth about one thing. We don't have these in the game anymore. Well, first, we don't call them loot boxes. I think that was... Whatever term you wish to apply yeah, to them, so, do so, you consider them ethical? So, what we look at as, as surprise mechanics. Yeah, surprise mechanics. Yeah, call them whatever you want to call them. It's gambling at the end of the day. Uh, finally, Activision got wise and removed them out of the game. Now, they have stuff in the store and everything, but I'm still a firm believer that... Uh, if they're not going to fix the game don't give them no more money don't reward bad behavior or that bad behavior is just going to continue over and over and over again now some people might say but you bought the battle pass you spent money no I did not spend money the 3500 cop points I had is what I got from purchasing black ops 4 because we was led to believe that that was going to be a very very good game and I, I never buy cop points you will not find one video on my channel I think the last time I purchased cod points and I don't even remember what Call of Duty was it was a long time ago and that was to buy extra classes I think it was or maybe it was two dollars for an endowment or, or something I don't remember but to purchase cop points to open supply drops never have never will but again people stop spending your money don't reward bad behavior make them correct it because if you keep spending your money all you're doing is telling them hey what we're doing is okay just like they're trying to say that this is the most played Call of Duty game ever it's the most played Call of Duty game ever right take a look at this picture this is the most played Call of Duty game. Look at this. Four on three. Look, four on five. You can't even fill a full lobby. But yet it's the most played Call of Duty game ever. Are you kidding me? Stop lying to your fans. Are you a Bethesda wannabe? Because that is what it looks like. Well, there you go, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell. That way you'll know when D-Day comes up. The missions video comes up as well as the video I talk about how they're lying. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on, and I'm out of here.